This train is bound for glory. This train. Well, I think the problem the government have now, Marcus, is a lot of people have paid, or some people have paid, and are wondering why. Irish, look, Marcus, we've talked to you a good few times now. Irish water's a dead duck. It's, okay. gone, it's gone away, guys. New government's going to get in. It's going to be abolished. Don't be paying this thing. Today, Marcus, we're looking at social media this morning. You have people coming on buses, people coming on trains, men, women, children, the old and the young. And once again, the Irish people are going to stand up today and fight for change in this country. That's what we so, so badly need. Of the 100% water in this country, 40%, over 40% disappears in the leaks. About another 40 plus percent um, is used by agriculture and industry. And we're down to something like less than 10% is actually what we use domestically. And for some reason, uh, a thousand million pounds has been spent setting up an organisation to try and help us conserve our pathetic little 10%. That would have made, if that had been spent fixing leaks, it would have had a huge impact on um, the water losses in the country. I'm mostly against Irish water, but okay. it'll be against all austerity measures. Okay. We'll start with Irish water and once we conquer that. We're here just because of the injustice of Irish water and the corruption and all that's going on in this government. Okay. Would you have a message for Irish water? Get out. Sooner the better. But all, all it is is a quangle for Rayleigh and the rest of them. And Mr. Uh, our esteemed so-called leader, Mr. Kenny. I hate him with a vengeance. Simple as that. And I want that put up. <laughs> We're here for, for the Dundalk group. We're at this now over four years, into a fourth year now, and we are just, like everyone else around Ireland, we're sick of it. And okay. we just, we wouldn't miss this for the world, because we're a crowd of people from all around Ireland. We're not too bad, we're only from Dundalk to Dublin. But people have travelled from Kerry, Galway, Cork, and all around. And it's great to see people like ourselves standing up for their rights. Thank you. Would you have a message for Irish Water at all? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> you are what you're here. Right. Hello, my name is Caroline. I'm from the People's Republic of Inishowen, otherwise known as Inishowen County Donegal. Wow, fair place to you. Um, and uh, why are you here today? <laughs> I'm here today because I'm protesting against the water charges and, in the broader sense, against austerity, against the government that is eroding democracy, that's increasing inequality, that's not caring about people dying on street corners. Yeah, go ahead. I think it's a holy divine disgrace that you have to pay for water in this country. The brainy men in all air. Bring him in. Why didn't they bring out maintenance? There are dark clouds arising. Would you have anything to say about that? Absolutely. <laughs> now you better get the raindrops as they fall because after all they're not free and it doesn't fall from the sky. Right to water, huh? You got it now. We've every right to water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because I'm against water charges. Yeah. We're already paying it. Yeah. They took 20% of the road tax that people pay for the upkeep of the roads and street lighting and whatever else. And without their permission, took that and gave it to Irish Water. Okay. So everybody that has paid the road tax has already paid for their water. Would you have a message for Irish Water? Well, it shouldn't have been set up in the first place. It should have been left to all the councils. And all the money that's gone into Irish water, all the hundreds of millions, could have went to repair, repair a lot of these burst pipes. Do you, do you want to say why it is you're here today? Well, the reason I'm here today is that I, can't, I cannot understand how a government can force me to be a customer of a private company. Irish Water is a private company and I have no intentions and this government or any other government will never force me to be a customer of a private company. I don't choose to be a customer and I don't want to be a customer and I have no intentions of ever being a customer. I wish they'd get that message. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm here because I don't agree with anyone having to pay for water. Um, water is a, a natural right. Yes, we came out to protest the water charges we are paying already and we refuse to pay again. Derek, uh, what did you think of the protest today? Well, to give you an indication, you know, I arrived and there was thousands at Conley Station. And then I stood on the keys and 
the crowds, they just kept coming and coming and coming. The turnout today was a massive turnout and is what we needed at this moment in time. Where the government were saying that the movement was dying down and people were giving in. <laughs> Today's tour now showed them that this isn't dying down, this is getting bigger and bigger. And in the end, you won't listen, we'll make you listen. Um, well, this is the biggest people's movement in the history of the country. Uh, it is the biggest movement. And um, you have people protesting who are going on these protest marches who've never protested in their lives before. Um, and I think, you know, middle aged people who, who would never have considered going on protest marches. But the water charges, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. This is about much more than water charges. Mm. It's about, every, you know, it, it, it's about austerity. It's about the, the, the way that. Um, the Irish people were treated with utter contempt uh, by our, our current government. I mean, what did you think of today? Uh, very, very impressive. Um, I think it's, it's one of the biggest protests yet. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's just proof, if proof were needed, that this movement is, is, is going to stay together um, as a united force. And the government are shell-shocked by the numbers that are turning out to these protests. I mean, people on the street have been saying for a long time that um, it's not about water. It's about, um, people see every day of the week what's happening through uh, social media. People being thrown out of their homes. They see uh, people dying on the streets. They see uh, children uh, being forced to uh, stay on the streets. So no, it's not about, um, it's not just about water. Uh, Michael, uh, what did you think of today? I think today I was up there with the, with the first, uh, the first of uh, October last year. That day I felt that something popped in this country. I couldn't figure it out. I was going up in the train today and I just thought that pop that I felt that day was uh, like a pop of a seed. And uh, I think the, like the yellow flowers of uh, daffodils, and I think what we see today is like a yellow sea of consciousness. Uh, this country has changed, changes on the way and uh, I'm buzzing after today and uh, couldn't be happier. And I think this government is going to be really frightened after today. I think uh, people are going to get really organised. I can't wait for the the um, the policy from the unions to go around the country. And uh, I think uh, change is on the way. The only thing is constant is change. And history, I think, is repeating itself. We're standing underneath, underneath now the GPO, where they changed the course of the country up nearly 100 years ago. I think today we're, at, we're starting to change the course of the direction of this country again. And I am buzzing from it. Well, what we have here today is a mass public demonstration against the water charges. Uh, the nonsensical uh, water situation we find ourselves in this country in at the moment. Okay. You tried to do something in the Shannon, was it, about the water bills? Yeah, we, 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 when the Eurostat uh, results came in, which we fully expected, we tried, um, myself, uh, I, I orchestrated and we tried to bring back the Shannons for a sitting because I believe the Minister should come in and explain to the Oireachtas what he's unwilling to explain to the public. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, that failed, although we had over 26 senators who wanted to have the uh, the recall of the Shannon. So, um, clearly, Minister Kelly is not very interested in giving answers to how we got ourselves into this mess. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train.